Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, your name is Drake. It looks like your fans are reaching and wishing and hoping and praying, y'all. The Drake stands, the Drake, what should we call them? Glazed donuts, jelly glazers. The Drake stands are back. And baby, they are, listen, first of all, let me just say this. They, Drake needs to tell his fan base to shh, like Joe Button said, you can be a fan of Drake and not a fan of hip hop. You can love Drake and not like hip hop. And the more they get into it, the more they show, baby, they are not like us. You run to America to imitate heritage. You can't imitate this violence. Y'all, why are certain people that are not black American, right? And Canadians, shout out to the cool ones, misinterpreting a clip with um, DeMar DeRozan trying to act like he's trying to be cool with Drake again. On top of that, you know how Drake was scurrying after the Hell's Angels? You know how a Hell's Angel punch? Well, guess what? It looks like there's some inner divide in that Hell's Angel. It looks like the people that Drake allegedly paid for protection so he could make that next stop in Oakland. Um, the people he didn't pay are letting him know you ain't nothing but a clout chasing goop de doop 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 scooby doop doop. Let's get into this, right? Where do you want to start at? First of all, let's start off at the uh uh at the uh 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 Daymar stuff, right? Now I'm gonna play this clip for y'all. Listen very closely because I feel like every black American knows what's going on. But the fact that there are certain non-black people and some Canadians are misinterpreting this clip, I'm gonna play it for y'all, and are assuming that Daymar is trying to backtrack and still be cool with Drake. This is the opposite of what he said. That's why literally a cultural reference is needed. And this ain't shade if you didn't realize, because let me tell you, let me tell you, first of all, y'all listen to this clip. Uh, first of all, hold on, hold on. So, uh, it's always been, hold on. And I'm Kendrick Lamar myself, it's cool to see you in that video. Please. How did that come about? And does that mean they can't play Drake in this building anymore? I mean, he can, Drake, <laughs> we love Drake, we always can play him. You know, um, Kendrick been a, uh, a friend of mine, his family, they their family. You know, um, you know, for a long time, for a while. You know, we're from the same city, grew up down there in the, in the, in the same neighborhood. You know, so uh, it's always been there. It, it haven't always been publicized, but, you know, that's, that's, that's basically family. Now, listen, y'all. This man literally said Kendrick is basically family. If you are Black American, you know what that means. First of all, let's get into this because I need to talk about this, right? Ahmed, the big ears, probably that same goofy in Dubai talking about Drake United Black people did more for Black Americans than anybody else could, right? He said, Damar DeRozan basically said, yeah, I was on stage and in a music video dancing to a record that's calling him the worst thing you can say to a man. But that's still my dude. They're trying to say he still likes Drake and he's trying to be cool and backtrack because he sees that Drake is about to come back with a comeback track. We already know. We already know that Kendrick has destroyed that man's dreams of remaking Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. And I know academics said that wasn't true, but act, we don't believe you. On top of that, that seems like something corny that Drake would do because Drake's too spot on. He keeps putting himself next to Michael Jackson, which like a lot of y'all pointed out, is that really a thing that you want to do? Y'all can think Mike Jackson was the greatest, but when it comes to PDF file, accusations both founded and unfounded is that really where you want to align yourself on top of that Catherine jackson which was michael jackson's heart is feuding with the estate you shouldn't even be going into that so there is that obvious like why are you taking with michael jackson you're now going to say man in the mirror but i guess he's going to be like is he going to have millie bobby brown singing the hook literally okay also this is to Ahmed, because I realized, Ahmed, you don't live in America. He, I literally looked at this and said, what do you not realize are you being obtuse? This is also for all the Black Americans. This is Damar code switching. He is being interviewed. He is at work and it's a professional setting. So of course he has to be PC with his response when he was like, yeah, I mean, they can play Drake if they want. I don't got no problem with that. But Kendrick's family, Kendrick's been like family. We roll out, right? And listen to this, right? 
if if you just read a few of those quote quote tweets, right, of the Drake stands, it's like they don't understand basic English nuance. Again, I think for the people of Dubai, the United Emirates, Emirates, so all this stuff, I think that they thought that Drake was the ruggiest, thuggiest hip hopper, right? But at the end of the day, they just can't understand any of the basic nuance. It's just like, it's wild that they are actually even getting into this. But hold on, there's more, y'all. Because um, Walker, it won't work like that when you pop up in the music video, ringless boy. First of all, not too heavy on that boy mess, right? That's the thing that breaks uh, fans. They all got the same. I don't want to say all of them, right? But you know which ones I'm talking about. All got that same, like, hip hops for everybody. What are you talking about? I don't see color. Boy, you don't get not too heavy on the boy. Um, Lou Ball said, I bet you've seen Kendrick in real life less than five times. You trying to call a man that grew up in the same neighborhood as Kendrick and all his family saying Kendrick is like family. And there's a funny thing with Drake's people. I feel like everything is so surface. They assume that everything else was surface, right? Again, any black person knows what he was trying to say. They understand the nuance. And when he said Kendrick is damn near family, when somebody say you damn near family, you trump everything, right? Um, again, he was given a neutral answer. E-man, Drake, friends from overseas was saying, nah, you can't play both sides. You either team Drake or team Kendrick. What? Don't start pump faking now. This zesty behavior can't lie. Listen, uh, listen, they say, yep, yeah, Drake definitely a bad B. DeRozan loves him. I can't talk with Drake's fans anymore. But you know what? They do come out with a new conspiracy theory, right? They are now uh, trying to say, this is Madiba. Drake's fans, I don't understand. If they had just taken the L and he had, like literally got back in the studio and gave us anything, maybe they could have moved past it. But the fact, yes, give us nothing. They said, y'all just to, oh, King Jared on Twitter said, yo, Spotify, we pulled your file. I thought you guys claimed you didn't do anything shady when academics asked what's up. Asking Surrey to play Drake and it plays Kendrick Lamar instead. First of all, they're asking to play certified lover boy, right? Wouldn't you go to Siri and you just say, they take that as the most popular lyric out of a song. And the next thing you see is certified lover boy, certified PDF file, wah, 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 dot F them up. But anyway, right? My diva said, y'all just too slow. Does Drake have any song or lyrics where he said certified lover boy? I'm gonna let you answer that. Plus the quote is a keyword to which Kendrick used a few times in his disc record. One of the number one things on Spotify, of course Spotify is gonna take you to that. But not only that, are y'all now trying to say, again, you never win when you're, are y'all now trying to say that most of Kendrick's plays were mistaken Drake fans that asked to hear Drake and then hurt Kendrick and just sat there dutifully and listened and plus repeat over and over and over y'all. I really honestly do have to laugh because golly, listen, Let's get into this, but this is the most important thing that I want us to try. It looks like Drake's protection, baby, it looks like Drake's protection is actually over. And this is proving that Drake pays for his protection, right? Damian Ryman, uh, Ryan had some words for Drake. If you guys don't know how, hold on a second. If you guys don't know, they had that protection, but he is a, he is an actual certified made man, hell's angel, Damian Bryan. He looked like he ain't nothing to be messed with, right? Rick Ross was talking about that Vancouver situation, right? And when he was talking about that Vancouver situation, he actually talked to Drake, right? And he's a hell's angel enforcer meaning he is a fully patched member. The Hells Angels love merch. No shade to Hells Angels, but they do be loving merch. Calling Drake a clout chasing goof, which means the chapters, right? And thanks Jamal for pointing this out, which means that the chapters he don't have on payroll 
Don't F with them. And there's too many Hell's Angels chapters. Y'all, I've never seen somebody so cloud chasing, so goofy, and it keeps blowing up in his face. And I don't understand why he just won't sit down. Again, we keep saying, who's Drake's mole? We don't got to ask who Drake's mole is. And at this point, I believe Kendrick, what he said, 80% of Drake's people work for him. Honestly, I had to give y'all this update because Jake is lost in the sauce, but baby, I, I love to see it. I love to see it. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.